Okay, what's up YouTube, HPJ here, and I'm going to ask you guys because we have a new Exceed monster on the horizon. This is Valganesh, the Black Lagoon Dragoon. The Black Lava Dragoon. Why is it Black Lagoon? No. <laughs> the Black Lava Dragoon. This is a new Exceed monster uh, that is coming to us from Dawn of Majesty. One of the next sets for the uh, OCG. And I think we'll probably get this here in the TCG uh, right after Lightning Overdrive. Because I believe Lightning Overdrive is already out in the OCG. So the TCG will get, this, get that in May. And we'll get this starting us off in August. Now... Um, this monster has a really good standoff effect, I actually have to say. Um, but before I get into it in a lot more of this monster's stats, uh, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel as it helps out tremendously. You can also hit the notification bell so you guys can be informed of when I do upload more videos and more content. You can also hit me up on the social media links. Uh, they are in the description box below. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all of that. And of course the Patreon, so you guys can also interact with me there. Um, that in, well, not interact with me there, but you can help out the channel by giving a little if you have any. So that way we can keep the channel. I can keep the channel afloat and also get some equipment and stuff like that, so I can really give you guys a good experience and even give you guys some good content. Now, while why don't we take a look at the Black Lava Dragoon? Uh, actually, first of all, this is some awesome artwork. It's literally a rider on top of a white dragon. Hence the word Dragoon, because it's also itself is a dragon. Um, a humanoid dragon in some, in that sort. Uh, riding another dragon. Which I think most Dragoons are. So, um, kind of getting into my Final Fantasy fandom and, in um, a little bit of lore and franchises. They have a couple of Dragoons as well. I think Dragoon is actually a class in Final Fantasy. Um, where they're the jump, they have the jump ability. And they can, um, it's like they jump in the sky for a few turns or a few phases and then they drop down and do some massive damage. Now, in terms of this card's effect and its massive damage, uh, Dark, what is it? Uh, yeah. Sorry, Vagarish, the Black Leva Dragoon. He's a rank 7 dark attribute, um, dragon type exceed monster with 2500 attack, 2100 defense requirements, two level 7. Monsters. Uh, once a turn, you can detach one material from this card. Type in one face of the card on the field and destroy it. If you destroy a monster with this effect, you can have one of your monsters gain 300 attack times the destroyed monster's original level slash rank until the end of the next turn. Uh, if this this card cannot attack the turn you activate this effect. Uh, if this card has a dragon monster as exceed material, uh, this card becomes this effect becomes a quick effect. So, here's the thing. I've stacked a lot of the ideas of what decks can use first. All of them have access to a dragon monster. And with that attached to it and having it be a quick effect, yeah, this card's going to be seeing some play. Now, um, I guess the obvious would be Dragon Link, because they have an array of monsters they can take advantage of that are 7 and Dragon. You can also take this to a Court of Dragon Maid, because I do believe Dragon Maid has level 7 monsters attached to them. Um, our Dragon has level 7 Dragon monsters attached to them as well. Various of Chaos Dragon, if that's ever a thing to come, because I know Holy Knights, um, the series that's supposed to be based around Siaru, the... the a normal light monster that's you know level seven with a lot of level seven plays as well and of course dragoonities because that's you know i don't know if dragoonities have a lot of rank seven level seven play but you know they could take some advantages of it and play around with tempest the uh, the dragon ruler of storms and then there's harpies who have their combination with harpy channeler and harpy's pet dragon um, with that said and done, I think I just listed practically all the various decks and the various combos that could make this monster. This monster is not bad at all, and even with its limitation to not being able to attack the turn it triggers its effect, 
You can just drop a double-A Zeus on top of this monster and be perfectly fine after its use its ability. Um, making it a quick effect by attaching, that, making sure it has a jacket attached to it is just the coup de gras. And literally, any deck that runs a dragon can easily take advantage of this monster. So I have no negatives attached to this monster at all. It has a very base standard attack and defense. 2521 defense is kind of similar to Dark Magician, in a way. Which, I wouldn't be surprised if two Dark Magicians tried to make this monster. I don't really know two other non-dragon decks that could easily make it, but it would probably would. And probably try to splash in a dragon just to get the additional effect to be a quick effect. Just to get the effect itself to be a quick effect. I think if it wasn't a quick effect ability attached to it, and have to search for it, and have to use the ability of- had to have a dragon attached to it, then overall this would be a really good card. I mean, it would just be a basic card. It wouldn't be as good as it is, thanks to the attachment of the Dragon Monster to be a quick effect. Um, will I personally play this? No. I just, you know, I just like my heartbeats to be fours and play around with that. Or maybe even eight, if that was the case. Now, if this was a viable thing for Harpies, the one issue that I do have is Harpies for a Dragon definitely would need another retrain in the main deck in order for it to at least be viable. Kind of similar to what Harpy have Harpies having in what an alternative dragon to be played around with, or maybe getting a various Stone of Legends type situation where the monster could be utilized in terms of level modulation, or maybe even trying to help you summon Harpy's Pet Dragon with a little less, with a little more ease. Which, either way, either of those additions would be great, because then that would kind of not have to so much require for Pet Dragon. You could use, you know, what is it? You could actually use Tempest, but everyone knows how I feel about that situation at home. So, yeah, I mean, it is to whoever player wants to play this, and if you do... Go ahead and rock it out if you want. Um, but, yeah, I'm not going to have any real negative things to say about it. I honestly think this is going to be a really good card. Um, and I do expect a lot of dragon various decks to try to take advantage of it. Or maybe some decks that don't run dragons trying to fit a dragon or two in it to get some circumvent. Now, with all of that said and done, I think it's time to wrap up the video. So... Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about uh Valgrish, the Dark Lava Dragoon. And do you think you'll be seeing you'll be playing it or seeing play in the near future? So thanks everybody for watching and I'll catch you all next time. HPJ signing out. Take care.